Hi all, in this session, I am going to discuss about structures and unions in system Verilog. So, we will see, before going to structure, uh, we will see first arrays. Because these arrays and structures are similar, the function wise they are similar only. But the difference is how they store the elements, like uh, in arrays, how it is, it stores the same data type elements, right? If, it's, if you are using bit type, you can store only bit type of elements. And if you are using edge or logic or string, you can store only that type of elements only. So the structure is help you to store the different members of the different data types. So a structure can contain different members of the different data types. And as I said, an array of contains elements of the same data type. This makes the structures different from an array. Okay. So the in array we can store only same data type elements but in structure we can store or we can access different members of the different data types then we use struct keyword in structure okay struct and then you have to declare the data types here we have two types in arrays also we had two types right packed array and unpacked array here also we have two types packed structure and unpacked structure we will see what is packed and unpacked structure. So packed array, how it is first of all? Packed array is nothing but we declare the dimension before the variable, right? So how, there, how it is the set? It is a set of contiguous bits. Packed array is nothing but a set of contiguous bits. Here it comes to when it when it comes to packed structure. Here the memory takes place. Similar to the packed array, if memory allocated for a variable in a structure is contiguous, then it is called the packed structure memory okay the memory allocated for variable in a structure is contiguous then it is called the packed structure and here we can use only packed data types okay you cannot use st uh, string data type because string is not a packed data type right so you, you cannot we cannot use pack, uh, string for packed structure only packed data types are allowed then we use packed keyword after struct keyword we have to use packed keyword if you want packed structure Okay, the pack keyword is used. Then the, this is one key key point. Like uh, in pack structure, if any data type is four state, then the complete structure is treated as a four state structure. Even though if you are, if you are using um, majority of two state uh, data types and one data type is four state, it's like logic is four state, right? So then it treated a whole structure as a four state structure only. And one more point is the pack structure is by default unsigned in nature so we know that four state uh, data types are also unsigned right so the packed structure is by default unsigned in nature and if you want it as a signed you have to use this signed keyword okay if you uh, because since it is a unsigned in nature if you want it as only signed then you can use signed keyword and unpacked structure here by default structure is unpacked structure by without using this here there is no unpacked keyword okay because by default it is a unpacked in nature you can use any data types any like string also you can use because this is unpacked structure and in unpacked structure it is not as memory efficient as packed data structures it is not as memory efficient as packed data structure because here uh, the alignment of memory how they allocate the memory that matters here unpacked structure since it is unpacked uh, it is not efficient okay and uh, if you want to use the uh, okay union okay union data type it's also same as a structure only but the difference is the memory how it allocates the memory and how we can access the elements that makes the difference between structure and unions here unions are similar to the structures that can contain different data types members except they share the same memory location same the function is same as structure only but you can x uh, what it will do is it shares the same memory location for if you are using five data types five elements both shares the same memory only so that you can access only one member at a time okay hence it is a memory efficient data structure and but it also restricts the user to use the one member at a time even though if you have multiple uh, data types or elements you can access only one at a time okay you cannot because it overrides since since it's sharing the same memory you cannot access multiple elements at a time okay so we can access only one member at a time we will go to code and there you can understand better 
here also we have packed and unpacked okay but we don't use unions can also be declared as packed but in the packed union all the elements should be of the same size if you given all the elements of the same size then uh, you can use this as a packed this is some condition okay we'll go to code 